Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do free slice on big cubes. So I'm going to show you how to do it from 4 to 7, and then I'm going to show you some uh, tricks on last two centers on um, the big cubes, uh, except for kind of 5 by 5 So here, I'm going to start out with 5 by 5 or I mean 4 by 4 sorry guys. Um, so uh, doing uh, free slice on 4 by 4 isn't very beneficial, and may slow your times down um, 10 seconds. Uh, because you don't have the freedom of um, taking a piece right here and putting it right there, something like that. You'd have to completely like line it up and stuff, and it takes a little bit longer um, than normal reduction where you're doing like 2-2-2 two, 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 or 3-2-2-3, three, three, two, two, three, whatever, um, or Yao. Um, so you may not want to try this on a 4x4. Four four. So... Here, I'm just going to look for um, two edges that I can pair, and here they are. It's the green-white edge. Pair it up, and I'm just going to insert it in the U layer, and just bring down an edge. And now, I'm not going to realign this. I'm just going to keep it there, because I'll realign it when I'm done. And I see this edge and this edge. Then redo like that. Put it up in the U layer. Oh, and I got a free pair there. Just put it up in the U layer here. Slice. Okay, so now once you've gotten four of the edges done in the U layer, you do a cube rotation and use the other four slots um, on the other layer. And I see this. Put it up there, and this, put it up there, this, slice, and this and this. Okay, so now I've done all four on the top, now I have to realign my centers, so I can do L4E, last four edges. I automatically see this edge and this edge. And here, I'm just going to, um, I can finish the rest of the edges in just one slice. And here, 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 here. Done. Um, and yeah. So, um, that's, uh, free slice for 4x4. Four four. Now for 5x5, five five, um, it's... Free slice for 5x5 five five is probably the best edge pairing method that you can do. So off the bat, um, I'll either have blue on top or green on top, or that's usually what I'll do, but sometimes I'll just, um, it doesn't really matter sometimes, and I'll just do like orange on top or blue, black on top. So off the bat, I see um, these two, and so I'll bring them up and just flip it here and then go like that and find the edge piece that's supposed to go right here. Here it is. And make the pair. Put it in the U layer. Don't realign your centers. Don't do that. And look for the next pair. Usually I'll look right here. I'll either look at um, this edge or this edge and um, yeah, I'll go with that, and I see this edge, and this pair it up, and I already see this little um, thing there, and here I'm just looking at my uh, D face, and I found, and yep, and put it in, and here's an easy edge pair, and here it is and slice and put it up there and I saw here this edge and then this edge right there and then while pairing that up I saw this edge okay so now I have all four edges on the top or the U layer are um, good so now I have to flip it over and do the next four edges. See these two. So I just have to flip it. 
I saw um, this while I was doing these two edges. And this kind of looks a little bit appealing to me, just because I have this little green piece in the back. And I check over to see what it is, and it's it's good because um, it's the same thing. And just slice to make it happen. And oh wow, yeah, just right here, slice. And this caught my eye, so that. And I brought this piece along while doing that, and this also caught my eye again. So what I'm going to do is um, get this piece to go right here, so when I slice it over, I can do the flip. And done. And now for L4E, again, so all of my um, eight edges done. And here, this caught my eye, and this did. So I'm just going to bring a uh, bad edge and just do that. So now I have three left, and this here. like that and yep okay so now on 6x6 six six, I'm gonna go a little bit faster um, because there's more stuff to point out uh, stuff so here One edge done. Saw that. Thought I saw that piece there, but there it is. That caught my eye, so I just took it out. Pairing that. Oh, here. I'm not really talking in this part because it's pretty self explanatory. And yeah, this caught my eye again. I'm not going to flip quite yet because I'm working on this last edge. And, oh, here. And now I'm going to flip. And I see these two pieces off the bat. And just when you're doing edges, just try to slow down and don't really think. Don't try to think too hard on what you're doing. If you're thinking too hard on what you're doing, you're not going to do it very fast. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, this is... Oh, see here, I have this little thing, so I'm just going to preserve it, kind of. And if I can... Oh, yeah, that's good. Um... Um, here, the two edges, so, um, yeah, I'll just take that, and I'll have to do this last one. Yeah, that's a nasty move. Yeah, um, where is it? Oh, here it is. And, is this L2? No, uh, this is L3. And here, when you come to these um, last three, um, 
here I'm going to pair this piece up with this piece so I get the inner two and I'm going to do it just like um just like 4 by 4 so here and now I can solve the rest of the edge is like a 5 by 5 that just makes it a little bit more simplified and compare the algorithm Okay, done with the uh, six by six. Um, next cube is the monstrous seven by seven. But before I do seven by seven, I'm just gonna take a quick break. So I'm gonna be back in like one second. Okay, so now for the seven by seven. Um, there's a lot of pieces that you're gonna have to keep track of, and it may be a little bit hard to do free slice at first, but um, your times will be cutting down every single time. So say you average 20 minutes with reduction, just one pairing, every single edge, um, you're, you're going to go up probably to 25, then you're going to cut down to 15, go down to 10, then 9, 8, 7, then if you work hard enough, you can get sub 7, sub 6, then maybe a while later, sub um, 5, and even 4, if you're fast enough, and maybe someday sub 3. Um, yeah. So here, um, yet again I have blue on top, and the thing that catches my eye are these two pieces, so I'm just going to bring them in the orbit, and let me see this piece. Now if it's easier for you, you can Tear the edges on the M slice. I do them on the E slice um, because I'm used to it. Sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit. Um, let me take the stack mat off because it's just annoying. Um, yeah, that's much better. One edge done. Um, that caught my eye because it had three pieces of green, but none of them are anything special. So I'm going to go here. That's, that didn't sound great. Oh, I thought this was one of the black um, or reds. Where's the piece? Yeah, this may happen sometimes, but just just don't get too upset that you're not really finding the piece. Oh. Is that it? No. And usually it's right in front of you. Like this case, it's right in front of me. So yeah, I finished the last four. Sorry for my mind you guys about that.
so over here, you know, and just flip this. And um, L three E. It's fun on the seven by seven, and I'm going to build well, almost all of that edge. And I popped. But I'm just gonna keep on going for like two more seconds. That was about. A Four foot pop, not that bad. One time I had um on my six by six like thirty feet, and here I'm not gonna do this last one um quite yet because here just slice that over and. And as I do with the 6x6 on the L2E, I will just do the inner three here and here. And there's. That's fun. Um, so yeah, edges done. Um, so now you get a basic concept of free slice on big cubes. Um, but here I'm just going to show you some uh, center tricks. Um, from uh, going from free slice or from centers to free slice. So here I have um, last two centers on five by five, and um, I see this block, and then I see that, and here, and it's really useful when you get one piece like this, and you can just leave it like that because you're wasting moves by going like that. And so you can just leave it like that and do the rest of um and just keep on going doing free slice. Um so yeah. Um hopefully uh you learned something from this video. Um and hopefully this dropped your times a little bit and showed you something. Um bye.